you wake up in the morning, you drink coffee, you're like, oh, I got a sore throat. <laughs> Dude, Uh-oh. I got I got high with Rogan. So so uh, January, like the, my special comes out January seventeenth. Shit gets crazy. Joe's like, yo, can we do the podcast like twenty fourth? Right now, the the pandemic is in. It is kicked in. No one's leaving their house. No one's on the four hundred five. No one's on the one hundred one. I make it to Joe's podcast studio in like seven minutes. Right, I'm there early. Joe's there early. We're, he does, you know, what's crazy is he doesn't give me a hug. You know, whenever you see Joe, he gives you that wraps you up in that big hug. Yeah, he doesn't give me a hug. He just stands off like he's mad at you, right? And you're like, oh shit. And then he goes, he's like, you know, how you, how you feeling? How you doing? I said, good. I haven't left the house. He's like, cool. We go in. He's like, you want? I, I can use a cocktail. And I was like, me too. And then he gives me my own joint, right? So I got my own joint. He's got his own joint. Start smoking, and then all of a sudden, I start getting paranoid. I'm like, I'm like. Get a little shortness of breath. You're like, oh shit, I got the COVID. My my throat's. <clears throat> I can feel my throat really intensely, and I'm like, I gotta get the. I gotta fucking. I just ended up murdering alcohol to get rid of the COVID. I am not. Since I've got here, when I first got here, the first month of August, I smoked with three hands. I kept. I continued living like I was living in L.A. <laughs> when I moved into the house September first, we had an earthquake here. What? Like five nights after I move into this house, I am fucking hammered. I am in my kitchen stuffing my face with chicken cutlets and fucking popcorn and apples. And there's an earthquake. And I'm so fucking high that I go, you know what? I'll deal with this tomorrow. And I just (laughs) went to bed and I got up. And the next day people were like, fuck you, Joey. You brought earthquakes to Jersey with you. (laughs) It was right in Freehold, like 15 minutes from where I'm living now. And I was like, you know what? I, I got to stop. I was up at 2, 3 in the morning. You know, my time zone had shifted. So what I did, Bert, was I said, fuck it. No more edibles. I stopped doing edibles for a month. Yeah. And then I started taking edibles to fall asleep. So at a quarter to 11, I drink my tea. And I put two edibles in the tea. Capsules, ABX, yeah. the fucking syringes, whatever I have. And I watch Miami Vice, and by fucking 10 to 12, pop is done. Really? Done. I walk upstairs. I barely make it upstairs. I fucking stumble into bed, and I get my fucking eight hours. But I swear to God, like, today I have not smoked yet. Really? And you could hear it in my voice. There's no whistle. There's no whistle. That's it. That's done. That's done. If I smoke three times a day now, it's a lot. Wow. You know, when I spoke to you and you told me you were going away for three months and then two months and that you were going to spend time with the girls, I asked myself, what happened to fucking Bert? This was a guy that could not function unless he was out. This was part of who he was. And all of a sudden he's telling me, I'm I'm gone for five months. I'm going to stay with the girls for seven months. I'm like, what the (laughs) fuck? I knew there was more to the fucking story. You're like, I'm done. And And what people don't understand is like the last 10 years, we've been busting our fucking humps. And then there was 10 years before that that we were bumped, busting our humps in a different way. So it's like for me, I remember when they first closed everything. I'm like, okay, I could breathe March and April. Yeah, and I'm like, oh. I hope they cancel May, and I hope they cancel fucking June too. You know, I did not want to go to a casino in Cleveland. I wanted to stay at Nick's, you know, yeah. in Hilarities. I was like, I don't want to fucking play at D. I just want to do Nick's. Nick's is such a great club. It's yeah, easy. It's fucking such the a hotel. Great club. You got the chocolate shake downstairs and the fucking and the, <laughs> the food's the, amazing. The chocolate bar, yeah. The fucking you get, across the you street. You stay up late night, hang out, hang out, and have a conversation with Nick and just fucking. Oh my god, I love fucking it. Nick's got great food over there at Hilarities. You know. People don't understand that, yes, I missed that. You know, I missed the guy from, uh, he's a great guy from fucking Salt Lake City. Oh, Keith is Keith the best. really fucking tried. I had to leave. I had to cancel his room because I was leaving August 19th, and I was supposed to be in his room like September 4th. It broke my heart that I had to cancel, but I wasn't ready to do a weekend. I hadn't been on stage in seven fucking months. I don't want people to see me in that condition. I don't want people to see me rusty. I hate that shit. Yeah. Yeah, I I I uh I pulled out everything and then and and I you know, look, I'm I'm I was at, when we first started it and it was it was like I, I got to be really honest. I was driving I was in the bus, we were driving from DC to New York 
and we were going to spend that week in New York and, and everyone was talking about COVID, but no one knew about it, but I was partying hard as fuck, hard I was as partying fuck. hard as fuck. And we stayed a week in New York just to party, like just to party. We parked the bus outside in Jersey, all got hotels in Soho and just partied every fucking night when the pandemic is raging, right? Raging. raging. I saw you the one night at the garden. Then the next night, I saw a clip of you with 200 people around you at fucking, uh, you know, Jay, Big Jay's show. Big Jay and Luis Gomez. Oh, yeah, that's escape. right. <laughs> and I'm like, if this motherfucker don't have COVID now, he's never going to fucking get it. Dude, when we were, when we were at the garden, we, I did this twice, right? So we're at the garden twice. Once is for a basketball game and once, once for a hockey game. And so when we go to the, we're at the basketball game, uh, they, go, they come up and they're like, hey, Bert, we're going to put you on the big screen. I was like, fuck yeah. And they're like, Hey, is it cool if you kill a beer? Would you have a beer to ki uh, kill? And I go, shit, I don't, I don't have one. Let me go get one. They go, the winner of time. We're People be on started like, pouring beers. Everyone into started your pouring beer. their beers in my beer. I'm like, motherfucker, I'm this like, is exactly gonna die. how you get COVID. <laughs> this motherfucker. And meanwhile, on the other side of town, Michael Yo is getting COVID at the Gotham. Yeah. So it was so weird that you're on, you're at the Garden at 48th Street. Michael Yo's on 20th Street with Big Ball Frankie and Jeffy Gurion. And three out of four of them get fucking COVID in the room. They're in the green room. Uh, the owner didn't get it. Chris Mazzilli didn't get it. Chris didn't get it? So there was four of them in the room, in the green room, talking. Three out of four of them went down with Michael Yo going down the hardest. Uh, Lisa Lampanelli's ex had it fucking hard. He called his family and told them goodbye. Really? On the phone, yeah. So think about how fucking lucky you are that while you were at the garden jumping up and down drinking COVID beer... Fucking Michael Yo is over there at Gotham getting poor COVID and a fucking pneumonia to the point where he made a tape. He lost weight. So you're a lucky fucking dude. So I was. And then we did the exact same thing the next night at the fucking garden again. And then partied all the way up through Wilkes-Barre, all the way back down Schenectady, and then hit up, uh, hit up, did the beacon, did two shoes, hung out with James Dolan, who had COVID. James Dolan test COVID test positive for COVID the next week. We I'm doing shirtless pictures with him and his family backstage at the Beacon. Go to DC and now now the COVID's like everyone's talking about it. And I remember Joey. I remember, I remember in that it, we're in the uh, Constitution Hall, right? And I hear someone cough, and everyone turned and looked. And I went, oh this. I went. I got backstage. I go, guys, this is gonna get real serious real quickly. <laughs> 